Hi, my name is Tomas and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video we'll be making some cool wooden ornaments with resin. Check out the video. So let's get into the project straight away. The first thing we're actually going to need is um, these well, I'm going to call them blanks for me, basically. So the, the shape is all cut out, the stencils and everything that's all cut out, as you can see. Uh, uh, by the way, the stencils are available on my website absolutely for free. I will leave the link to my website down below. So go and head out, check it out if you want to download them. As I said, they're absolutely for free. So I actually done a video on how to get to this stage. So I will link that up above in the cards and down below in the description of this video as well. If you want to check out the whole thing on how to do these, by all means, check out that video and come back to this one. But I will also run a one minute um, time lapse of that video so you can more or less check out um, what I've been doing. Make sure to watch the whole video as later on I'm going to tell you uh, two tips, two things that I've learned during this project that may actually help you in your projects. So as you can see they look absolutely awesome, they're absolutely beautiful as they are but adding epoxy will make them even more unique and even better looking on your Christmas tree. So the next stage is to get them prepped for applying the epoxy. So what are we doing? I'm basically applying to the back or one of the sides of our blank with some clear tape. Right then, so we're ready to start mixing that epoxy and have a look what a wide variety of colors I've got. I've got some mica powders that should add really interesting effects. I've got some alcohol inks that should be quite interesting to see as well. Obviously your normal uh, pigments for your resins. Also I've got some uh, glow in the dark powders as well. So let's check it out and see what we can get. Okay, so as you've seen, I've put the part A and B into warm water to start with, uh, especially to get the part A, which is very, very thick, to actually loosen up a little bit and change its viscosity so the air bubbles will come up right to the top. And then, I've, as you've seen, I've mixed it all together and I've put it back to the warm water. It only needs to be a warm tap water 
and obviously what it will do will change the viscosity of the mixed epoxy and will help the air bubbles to actually escape and come right to the top. We'll leave that for a few minutes and we'll start dividing them in smaller pots and adding some colours.
will leave them for about 24 hours to dry, obviously depending on your epoxy resin, whatever you're using, that's uh, how long you'll have to wait. So now it's time to remove the tape from the back of this, as I can see it actually comes off uh, quite easily, which is always good and it's always uh, helpful in projects like these, so you don't have to spend hours upon hours on removing uh, the, the mould. Uh, so it came out like that, obviously it needs a lot of sanding, uh, we need to level it out from both sides, so let's do that now. So we've got everything back to level, now we need to make them beautiful again. For that I'm going to be using my random object and sander, I'm going to start with grid 80 and I'm going to go right up to 400. After that we're going to go into some fine sanding. I'm going to be using the Yorkshire grid, brown and white paste. If you made it this far in my video, I'm really happy for it as at this point I'll give you a few tips that I've actually learned on the way of uh, making this project. Um, obviously there's still one more step on the finishing days and we'll get to that in just one second. So basically what I've learned on the way, a couple of things. Um, not all of these actually came out perfectly. Some of them I'm going to try to find one I'm going to show you. Some of them actually got small um, voids, not sure if you're going to be able to actually see it, uh, small voids in the epoxy and that's caused by the air bubbles that got stuck inside. In my experiments with the epoxy I found a way of actually reducing the amount of air bubbles in my projects. Um, I made a video on testing a few things so if you want to check it out I'll link it up above somewhere go and have a look because uh, the method is uh, quite good and you don't need a vacuum chamber or pressure pot or anything like that the problem is uh, my epoxy has got 40 minutes of working time um, with filming and mixing and everything else it actually was getting too thick too quickly for me and it didn't manage to get to all the small voids as you can see um, the designs are very, very intricate, you know, you've got really tight spaces there and when the epoxy gets too um, too thick, it's just not, <laughs> not going to get through to all, them, all those small places and any air bubbles caught in the process will not be able to come out. In my video you've seen I actually mixed up a large batch of epoxy, so my tip to you, if you don't have a pressure pot or anything like that, mix smaller amounts and just do it a bit more often basically so you get your fluidity the viscosity of your epoxy uh, will be in the levels where you can actually fill all the gaps of these designs the second thing i found i used sellotape as you've seen um, on the back of these to make sure the epoxy will stay in place and it did and the tape came out really nicely and there wasn't major issues apart from one thing um, the salad tape in some places got rippled a little bit and that meant on the back of it the epoxy wasn't level with the design so additional hours on the sanding machine um, really uh, they're not helping in batching these out I'm not really sure what to recommend or just you know be very careful because some of them came out fine and, and some of them obviously had this issue so that's me not being careful enough with the salad tape but if you've got any other means of actually doing this let me know down in the comments because I'm quite curious what else I could actually use uh, not spending a fortune obviously and uh, to make less of a mess of it and 
not to have to sand for so many hours. But now it's time to get to the final stage on finishing these off. I'm going to be applying some polishing compound. Uh, it's a wax that will give it a beautiful shine and will protect them for years to come. Just a really quick one guys, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press that bell notification button so you don't miss any of my future videos. But for now let's carry on with the project. And here we are the end result and um, they all came out really really nice apart from a few issues as I said before with the air bubbles being trapped but that's one of the minor um, imperfections that uh, you really have to look up really closely to actually see them but uh, I'm going to show them off to you so you can see all the effects of what we managed to achieve And that's it from me for today guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave me that like button down below and i hope to see you on my next woodworking adventure till then take care